Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brad Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. I've talked about before about nickel plating, but I want to talk about nickel plating the parts on a front mount like a Victor or Columbia with a wooden tone arm. And you saw me stain this one in the last video. The problem is, we see here the nickel, and you can see the nickel is just literally coming off the part. And in here, we have some pitting. I always leave the pitting for originality. I don't want to, I, what I want to do is re-nickel, but I want to leave this patina of the metal. And the same thing here. This is part of the front mount piece. And then the yoke comes up here, you know, and it sits here in your front mount. But what's critical on these is this edge right here. Because this attaches to the wooden here. But really what you see when the, the tone arm is like this, you see this edge. So when you nickel, you want to, I use a deburring tool on my mini lathe like this, I'll show you. But you can do this with sandpaper or Dremel. You don't want to use sand, you want to use a deburring head on your Dremel to do this. You don't want to use sandpaper really. But what I use, I'll show you right here what this a deburring does. I chuck in my deburring piece here. Okay, this is an industrial thing that they have when they're doing industrial work and they're deburring. And what it does is we see the pitting because we have to prep for nickel. So you turn this on. And now you can see where I've taken the old nickel off and we've, we're leaving the pitting, the originality, the patina in this. So I'll do this whole thing. But what's critical is this edge. And the nice thing about a deburr is you can get the round edges like this and just come in like that. And that, you can see here now, when it's nickeled, it'll, because you're, Visually, you're looking down at the tone arm and not really from the side because the horn's in there. And you can, you can see this. And now this will all be, when it gets back from nickeling, this will look beautiful. I'm going to use the same thing I used on the Melba, the industrial nickeling, and then polish that out, have a lighter shine to it than the heavy, shiny, shiny nickel that I always use. And you should wear safety glasses. Oh, yeah, you should wear safety glasses. And gloves. And gloves. I wear my gloves. My angel's telling me I should wear safety glasses. But now I have to go, next step is I have to go over to the, my buffer and buff this out so it's shiny. Because the finish on your nickel is extremely critical. If you want to do this work before you send it to a nickel plater, it saves you a ton of money. And prep is everything. You don't want to pay your nickel plater to stand there to deburr and do this for a couple of hours where you can do it at home and then say, oh, hey, I need this little part done. And you don't want to nickel over this? No, you don't want to nickel birds? over this because the nickel will never stick. You can see on this piece here, right across where my finger is, you see all that dark black? That's the nickel coming off. You just can't nickel over that? You can't nickel over it because it, it'll keep eating out. It's like Bondo and Rust on a car down the road. The Bondo's going to fall out and the rust is going to keep eating away at it. What you want to do is you want to stop the rust. These machines are over 100 years now, maybe 150 years old, and you really want to preserve the phonograph. I know there's a big talk about, oh no, it should be all original. Well, it can sit there and be all original, but 50 years down the road, the rust's going to take over on the nickel, and you're going to go, oops, what do I do now? You know, this is all, I just want to point these things out, and that's my tip for the day.